dividend stock king here with another ETF stock review. This is our reviewing a stock called KBWY. It is a private shares premium yield equality equity, what do you want to call it, REIT portfolio. I own nine shares of this as of right now. My total return is $9.71. Today's return is $4.14. And this is an index, uh, way to index a small to mid cap REITs. Um, so it's pretty much a whole a, a, a fund that has a bunch of REITs, real estate investment trusts. So we go to Seeking Alpha here. And we can see the top 10. This is 100%, I mean, 99.99% real estate. Okay. Um, as you can see here, these are the companies that is investing. Um, they have some healthcare stuff as well. Um, office, uh, city office REIT. A lot of REITs in here. It's apartments, commercial, uh, residential. Looks like it has some healthcare stuff, office properties. These are. Um, it, it right here. So there's a top 10 holdings right here. I'm not going to do an in-depth review about it. This is like what I look at into its funds. Now, as of course, real estate took a big hit with the virus. Um, people couldn't afford their rents, couldn't afford their mortgages. So they had to do PPP loans or they had to get the loan all entirely. Or some states you couldn't infect no one. So real estate took a big hit. That's why you never, when they say diversify, you just don't diversify in the companies you invest in. So you don't invest in, um, let's say you invest in Exxon, BP, Chevron, uh, what, no stuff like that. You will invest all in gas because even though they're different companies, all industry, gas industry is the gas industry. And if one takes a big hit, all takes a big hit. So the real estate industry, T took a big hit. It took a hit in 08 and it took a hit this year. So it's coming back. Um, but as you see the dividend payout, look at the dividends here. As a one year growth, it pays 14 cents a share. Now, here's the crazy part this day was paying um, 19, 20 cents a share. Now, this type of fund or ETF, is ETF, I'm not liking too much because it's never consistent. You know, one month you get 16 cent, the next month you get 15 cent. Then you get 15, then it's 15, then it's 14, then it's 14, then it goes to 18, then it's 18, and 19, then it goes to 20, and then right now, I recorded this video with 10, 8, 20, 20, it's 14 cent. So they cut the dividend by six uh, cents, and it's never consistent. You know, you can never say this is a consistent paying dividend. Yes, it pays a dividend, but it's never consistent. If you want to build a portfolio and make a certain amount of this fund, you can never tell how much you need to get. So I like it because it has good holdings. Um, and the, the purpose of this video is you see the dividends is always changing. Real estate is always changing. OK, um, you see here how much it cost. Thirty one. It was thirty one dollars. You know, this year it was twenty nine dollars this year. Twenty nine bucks. Now it's eighteen. This thing coming up. And you see here, it dropped to $17. I mean, you know, you could got it for cheap here. Um, the January 15th, $31. I mean, this thing was expensive. So you got to look at these ranges too. This is the perfect time to invest in the stock market. I invest in the perfect time because stuff was, stock was $31, 30 bucks. I'm getting it for $16, $18. Okay. That's what the that's how that's the way you're supposed to invest. Okay. As you can see here, it's $16, 694 cents. Now it was at 18. It's been 818 for a while because you know stuff is getting better. Stuff is starting to open up after the uh the virus. Stuff is starting to clear up, stuff is starting to come about. So, you know, people are going out, people are, you know. Restaurants are opening up more, more shopping centers are opening up. And but you can see first of the year in the February it was thirty was thirty one dollars for this thing. Thirty one dollars for this. This is what I look at. This is the five year trend here. If it'll load up. 
Look at the assets, 1.81 million dollars in assets. That's a lot, that's a lot of money. So uh, as you can see here, it's been consistently $32. Um, it's never dropped. You know, $36, 2018, and, and uh, you know, September, you know, with $33. You know, it dripped, dipped down to $26. And it's always been $30, at least $30. Now it's like $17. So I tell people, I told family members, I told some friends, this is the best time to invest in the stock market. Stuff are not as it was. It, this past January in 2020, the stocks that in January are half the price in March and April. Not half the price, but at least $10 to $12 cheaper. Talk about this stock here. At the height was thirty dollars. Now it's like it was at the fifteen bucks in May, fifteen dollars. So I can't, I want to say that as this is a decent stock. I like it. It pays a dividend, but it's never consistent. Um, I was like fourteen cent. I thought it paid me twenty cent last month, but it's it's never consistent. So um, it's the ETF and. I mean, that'd be for the video. Always, excuse me, before you buy any stock, always, always, always do your research. I am not a tax a professional. I'm not a stock expert. I'm a, telling you what I saw. These are my opinions. Okay, the last five years has been has been different. You know, every dividend has been different, and I'm not I'm not liking that. I, I recently sold a stock. It was Sabrina uh, Royal Trust, I believe. It was an oil company. It was paying like a 30, like a 25 cent dividend. Now it one month I get 25 cents, the next month I get like 10. And I, I don't like that. I don't like stock doing that. You know, be consistent. If you're paying 10 cents a month, pay 10 cents a month. Don't go 10 cents, then go 18, then go five, then go eight. It's never consistent. Cause this dividend is gonna be uh, gonna be for my future to live off to pay bills. As you know, my goal is to make $500 a month in passive income. Not to live off it, just to pay the bills. Pay the light bill, water bill, internet. That pays those bills, so I don't have to pay it no more. So now my money's freed up to go invest somewhere else. So that's my goal. And having someone paying 14 cents this month, last month was 20, month before that was 18, then 18, 19, 18, it is never consistent for me. Now I'll keep it. I might still invest in it. Don't know. But I'm not feeling it, honestly. I'm not really not feeling it. Really not. It's, it's okay. Make sure you go to the website. Make sure you go and do more research. Find out. I, I never found out why they lowered the dividends. Okay. I never found it out. I, I never looked it up. I think I didn't. That's your that's your job to do research. And one more segue out of this video: do your own research. Don't do your own research. You have the internet on your phone, internet on your laptop, on your TV, on your Xbox, PlayStation. You have the internet every turn. Some restaurants have free Wi-Fi, have free internet you can use. Use the internet to do your research. I didn't find out why they cut the dividend. Didn't find out. Didn't look it up. I was guessing it was a pandemic. I was guessing people couldn't afford their rents because all my other uh, REITs had the same problem. I never looked. But, you know, I didn't pay attention to it. I'm not, this stock right here, I'm not really worrying about right now. If I start buying it, that's when I'll start doing all the critical thinking and research. But right now, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. So that's the end of my video. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, share the video, and I'll see you next time.